it is now time to testify to the goodness of God. It is testimony time. I'm going to start off first with the online testimonies, and afterwards we're going to receive the live testifiers. I'm going to start off with the online testimonies, and thereafter we would receive the live the live testifiers. This testimony is from Dickiness Adebayo Adesua Sarah from Scotland. She applied for a full license to practice in the United Kingdom whilst practicing for the test. She decided to take time to pray. She wore on her hand, on her head rather, the scarf she had on the day that the Jew laid hands on her for prayers asking God for favor. She wrote the test and passed on her first attempt. Can we celebrate Jesus? This next testimony is from Sister Murad Muradike, Muradike Olonode, Olonode, sorry, Muradike Olonode from Nigeria. She got married in 2007 and began a long wait for the fruit of the womb. She had several surgeries and IVFs, which all failed. She went through several medical tests in the UK and the US. All reports said there was no hope she would have a child. At the 2015 Holy Ghost service tagged good news that the Jew shared a testimony of a couple that got surprised with twins. They keyed into that testimony and God did and God did the miraculous for them. God surprised a family with a set of twins. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Secondly, she has been having terrible pains in her stomach for years and was scheduled for a surgery in February 2024. And after the surgery, healing had not taken place. But her Mother gave her the handkerchief prayed on by Daddy Gio at the April 2024 Holy Ghost service. She placed it on her head and prayed, and God healed her completely. I thought we we're going to celebrate Jesus. This next testimony is from Brother Shion Esson from Canada. He attended the 2024 Salem Assembly during the March special Holy Ghost service. He suddenly, he suddenly fell ill and could not sit, and he was in severe pains. He went to the exhibition center on the campground. He saw a chair that was said belonged to Park in Diomi, which Daddy Gio also used. He quickly touched the chair and received an instant healing. Celebrate Jesus! This next testimony is from Assistant Pastor Adekunle Idowu from the United Kingdom. He connected, he connected to the May 2024 Holy Ghost service as Daddy Joe instructed that everyone should ask God for anything. He quickly asked for a role that he applied for that night. Daddy Joe said, it is done. And that we shall sing Hosanna in the highest within one month. He claimed it. And after about eight months of searching for a job, God gave him a new role. Sister Modupe Olajide from New Zealand joined the 2023 Holy Ghost Congress online, believing God for a miracle job. As Daddy Gio prayed on handkerchiefs, he mentioned that God will give jobs and that we should attend the interviews with the handkerchiefs. She obeyed, and even what she was not expecting was given to her, as she got the job with an extremely good salary. Hallelujah! This next testimony is from Sister Ayowumi Temitokwe William from Canada. During the March 2023 Holy Ghost service, that the GO said, God will give you a promotion that your colleagues will not be able to deny it. It was God who did it. Once again, I think that's a word of prophecy for someone, that God will give you a promotion that your colleagues 
we will not be able to deny it was God who did it. And she came into that word of knowledge, and immediately God did put an end to a career stagnation of 11 years. She was given a job role two levels higher than her present role without her applying for the job. Who did it? This next online testimony is from Sister Okeniyi Fumilayo from Nigeria. Her husband was diagnosed with a brain tumor and he was having issues with his eyesight. It was scheduled for a surgery which they could not really afford. They visited the Open Heavens International Center asking God for a miracle, help and provision. God made provisions for them in excess. The surgery was successful and the eyesight condition was corrected within a week. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I think we should give God praise for these wonderful online testimonies. Let's give God praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. It is now time to take the live testifiers. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Wokolo Lovett. I'm from Lagos Province 77. I am here to testify to the goodness of God. I got married year 2020. And that year, I was hoping that I was going to take in immediately. But I didn't. Year 2021, we went to hospital and run some certain tests. The doctor said my husband was having low sperm count, or most of the sperm are dead. And also that I wasn't ovulating. And he prescribed drugs for us. And the result, we kept the results at home and hoping on God that God is going to prove himself in our life. And yet 2021, I came to camp during convention. And I am one of the ministers in my parish. We had an agreement prayer. And after praying, I promised God, I said, Lord, if you give me a child, I will come back to the campground to testify to the goodness of God. And I am here to thank the almighty God that a man that has a lost fan count and a woman that cannot ovulate gave birth to this boy. He is my bundle of joy. His name is Mokolo Zion. And also the, the, and also the man that has lost fan count and the woman that cannot ovulate is expecting another baby. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Praise the Lord. My name is Ogun Obiabosede from Ogun Province 8. I want to give thanks to the Almighty God for granting me delivery or concerning this accident. Faithful Wednesday, after, before I left home, I left a pot of soup on the fire. Unknown to me, I left it and I went to the, my working place. Unknown to me, I didn't remember to even turn it off or to even remove it on fire. But I left work around 5.30, getting for, uh, preparing for Riaza on that Wednesday night. Unknown to me again, I didn't remember to even call anyone at home to, to help me off the stove or the gas. But this is what I saw in the next morning, around 5 a.m. in the morning. Everything was got burnt. To the extent that people that were at home didn't even notice any smell of fire or any smell of burning something or any smell of gas. I was so surprised beyond my imagination. I just want to give God the Almighty God for His faithfulness because I was not tagged a murderer or a destroyer of property. Praise the Lord! Praise ye the Lord. I am Sister Oluwalu Yoladoi from Ogun, Baga. I had severe pain on my left leg exactly a month yesterday. But after taking the Holy Communion, before I couldn't stand on my feet like this, 
Whenever I want to stand, I will be aided either by my husband or my children. But after taking Holy Communion yesterday, what I was unable to do before, I can do them. Now I am standing on my feet, testifying to the goodness of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Dikines Faith Aladegbaye from Lagos Province 48. I'm here to fulfill my vow in thanksgiving to God. On the 30th of May, 2024, the Lord God Almighty delivered my husband and I from what would have been a ghastly motor accident. A few days before then, through a dream, the Lord revealed to my husband that there was a burial in the family. So we prayed in tongues and we asked God to shield, to shield every one of us by fire. And the Lord did that. What happened on the 30th of May was that we went on the Shongotedo Expressway. Both lanes were free. We were about to do a U-turn. I was the one driving. My husband's head was down because he was trying to send a message on his phone. I looked my way. Until I waited until all the cars coming on my way, was, the lane was free. As I was about to turn on the other lane, a lane that I had looked at earlier and didn't see a car, there was an oncoming trailer on top speed. In fact, at the time I turned, the, car, the trailer was already by the side of our own car. It was just by a split of a second, I screamed, Jesus! And at the mention of that name, the Lord slammed my brake. It was just God that delivered us, that the trailer did not pull us off the lane. The trailer did not crush us, and the trailer did not drag us to the glory of God. The Lord God Almighty shielded us by fire, and we have the rod of fire in our hands. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Sarah David from Lagos Province 16, Region 11. For two years now, I've, I've been having a strange headache. I can't sleep at night. Early this year, I started sleeping with cold, pure water. Each night I go to bed, my children must put pure water by my side, or I soak towel in, a, 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 in the water to sleep. But when I came to last month, Holy Ghost, as that the Geo was praying, I felt something within me. And from that day to today, no more pure water, no more soaked towel. I can sleep. That strange headache has disappeared. Who did it? Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm from Master Key Parish, under Province 57. My name is Elizabeth Anyasi. Year 2014, I was pregnant for this girl. And from three months, I started vomiting blood through my mouth and my nose. Till nine months, all the hospital I went to, they could not find anything. Not until that nine months, I was in my dream and I saw daddy. Daddy prayed for me. And they told me in the hospital that because of the situation of the condition, that I cannot be able to deliver this girl on my own. But God did it. After I saw that in my dream and he prayed for me, I delivered this girl. What I think I cannot do, God did it for me. Holy Ghost stood it for me. And I promise God that when this girl is 10 years, that we come to testify to the goodness of the Lord. And on the 27th of this June, she will be exactly 10 years old. That is why I'm here, to testify to the goodness of the Lord. And in that, my dream, God said, God told me that I should give her might to sing praises unto his name. Please, please, sir. Da 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 Oluwa dara simi o da 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 Oluwa dara simi o Praise the Lord Praise the name of the Lord 
My name is Ifeda Kwakinyade, and uh, by God's grace, I pastor Living Seed Church Egbeda. Um, first in September 2021, after the Oligo service, uh, my mom, who was staying with me um, just after the Oligo service, just lost uh, ability to speak coherently and um, lost ability to move around. We moved out to health center, and then they diagnosed her with a stroke. It was her second stroke, and um, it was life-threatening. But by God's grace, um, Daddy was able, that Jew was able to put a call through. He prayed for her, and he said, every arrow of the wicked is back to the sender. And just after that, someone who could not move her hands, move her legs, started moving her hands, started walking. Today, without rehabilitation, she's fine and healed perfectly to the glory of God. Secondly, on the 4th of June, 2023, it was a Thanksgiving service, and that Jew in that service had said that, um, everyone who had an appointment with that, that the appointment was cancelled. On my way back from church after a beautiful Thanksgiving service, I had an accident on um, the expressway. Um, someone picked my phone, called my emergency contact. I was unconscious. I was taken to health center here on camp and transferred to Babcock University Teaching Hospital. And um, almost left for dead, coming out of consciousness to just vomit blood from time to time. To the glory of God, God in his miraculous way healed me. No broken bone, no um, internal bleeding, and um, no, no complications at all. To the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. This was me on the day of the accident, and to the glory of God today, no traces of accident. I can walk, I can stand. The, the wounded spine, God healed miraculously and at record time. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't think with these testimonies we have heard we should still be seated. I think we should please stand and give the Lord God Almighty a praise. Let's thank the Lord. Let's bless the Lord. The psalmist says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He redeemeth our lives from darkness. He redeemeth our lives from destruction. He satisfieth our mouth with good things. He's renewed our strength like the eagles. I'd like us to give God praise. Let's give God thanks. Let's thank him for all the wonderful testimonies we've heard tonight. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you adoration. Thank him in anticipation for your own testimony. Thank him in anticipation for your own testimony tonight. Father, we bless you. Lord, we give you all of the praise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, good Father. Thank you, good Father. Thank you, good Father. We bless your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Whose testimony is going to be the next? I know you didn't hear me. I said, whose testimony is going to be the next? Can you rejoice and celebrate Jesus' 